All right, Shalom. Uh, first of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kodash, double honor to our apostles, the elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, this is uh, GMS Precepts, Nazar Khad here. And uh, real quick, I got a few articles I want to run through. The first one is from, you can't see it, it's up here, it's from Snopes.com. And it's speaking about, I guess it's a web website that tries to fact check things. Um, now, this is something that's going on or trending, as another article I have say, says. This is something that's trending on, on, uh, on, you know, all over the web. Starbucks coffee. Let me go back to this, this article. Is Starbucks going cashless in UK, US, and Canada? A picture of a sign taken inside a Starbucks store read, we're going cashless. A closer look hinted that there was more to the story. So this is, this is this website is saying that the claim of of Starbucks going cashless is mostly false. But if you read it, you'll understand that it's not mostly false. It's actually mostly true, right? And and apparently small minority and uh, see it, it says it right here. An apparently small minority of Starbucks stores in the UK displayed signs indicating they would be going cashless. The company said that these select stores were operated alongside various licensee partners, business partners. However, the company also told us that it had no plans to establish a universal policy that would make all of its UK, US, and Canadian stores cashless. So it's saying that See, it's not even giving. It's saying a, a small minority of Starbucks stores display these signs and indicated that they would be going cashless. But they said they had no plans to establish or making, you know, a universal po policy or making all stores in the UK, US, and Canada cashless, right? But that's just now, right? You know, there is a thing called uh, gradualism. Which is you, if you want to introduce a, a society to something, you do it slowly, right? I guess they went too fast with this one. Either they had no plans to do it yet or, you know, the people that saw these signs got scared. Let me see if there's a sign of, uh, here it is. Um, we're going cashless from uh, October 1st. We will be accepting car contacts and Starbucks reward payments. So they're saying... Or st this store that displayed this sign as well as others, they're going cashless. But Starbucks as a whole, they're not going cashless, right? And the reason why they had to make this statement is because they had it trending on Twitter, right? Where they had to ex where, where, where they had to explain their self, them themselves because they were getting a lot of flack. And you see a lot of people are aware of, you know, this cashless, this whole you know the whole plan and um you know a lot of people a lot of people aren't going to go for it starbucks coffee chain is starbucks coffee uh is coffee chain going cashless in uk is it legal and why hashtag boycott starbucks trending on twitter Right, it says it is responding to the reports that the coffee chain will no longer be accepting cash as a payment. That's true. It's not just not going to be all stores. It's going to be a few of them. Which that's how it always starts off, and until it, uh, you know, until it progresses into more. Right. Um, but we know what this is about. This is about the my family. Let me get that in, Re in Revelation 13. Right. This is going into the. Their whole plan their, their, is part of their agenda, which is written here in the scriptures, Revelation 13. It says, And he causeth all, small, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man shall, I'm sorry, and no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's speaking about uh, the MOT to the B. Right, which is definitely in their plans, and if you have your eyes open, you can see that why the sudden urge or why the push for this cashless situation here. You know, eyebrows should be raising on this one, right? But in order for us to usher in this 
cashless society, uh, the economics of this society, the monetary system has to be broken, right? Which we see it's happening now. Another article from The Guardian, more than 40% of Americans think civil war will likely, uh, war likely within a decade. Actually, I want, before I get that, let me get this one, right? Because I was going into the, um, damn, it's not all the way in there. I was getting into um, the, you know, first there has to be a, a total breakdown of the monetary system. Bank of, you can't see it, the whole thing. I, by, by mistake, I didn't adjust the screen. It says, Bank of America announces zero down payment, zero closing costs mortgages for black and Hispanic first-time homebuyers. Right, and this happened prior. So this this is something similar uh, to um, basically they're they're just trying to give away houses because the housing market is at a snail's pace right now, and they're gonna try to do anything to move houses, move units. And same thing happened in '08 during the housing crash. Residents in select Charlotte, Dallas, Detroit, LA, and Miami neighborhoods will be the first to be offered the program. So this is a program being pushed out by. Bank of uh, Satan, uh, Bank of America to offer this uh, big discount, zero down payment, zero closing costs to uh, help move some, you know, help s sell some houses. Okay, so that's just a sign of the economy. That's a sign of the, uh, you know, the breakdown of the monetary system. Now I got another one, Bed Bath and Beyond. Damn, I got this cut off too. It's from CNN.com. Bed Bath & Beyond is making a latch ditch effort to save itself. How are they going to do that? They're going to close how much? 150 stores and slash several of its in-house home good brands. Crucially, the company also said it secured it secured more than $500 million of financing, financing to shore up its ailing financial straits. All right, so that's just another sign of the financial times that we're in. Um, when you got stores just clo just just closing down, right? So you see, what people are gonna focus their money on are is not shit for your house, right? It's shit to survive. It's food and it's shelter. Okay. Now let me go back to this article here on the Guardian. It says more than it says uh, more than forty percent of Americans think civil war likely within a decade, right? More than half of strong Republicans think such a conflict is at least somewhat likely. Poll finds, and they're showing you a picture of January six, um, or whatever. Look at this: U.S. political violence is surging, but talk of like civil war is exaggerated, isn't it? Right? Gun sales are going up. Um, even even people that are not, you know, in the in the truth or you know, don't believe in the Bible, they're starting to see that amen, things aren't um looking so good in America where you got a lot of conflict within, you know, classes. Right within the uh, you know the, the 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 different racial backgrounds, it's a it's a it's a lot of tension being built up, and it's just gonna eventually it's gonna pop here in America. All right, um, so th this is all prophecy, right? Because that's what that's uh. Let me get that right quick. Get the one in Zechariah. It's right here. Zechariah 14. Let's slide here. 14. 13, right? And it shall. Yeah, and it shall kind of pass that. And it shall kind of pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. That's speaking about. Wars. That's speaking about class wars. That's speaking about racial wars. Okay. Um, political wars. Like if you call yourself, you align yourself for being a Democrat or a, or a Republican, you're gonna what? You're gonna want to fight each other, right? It's no coincidence that gun sales in this country is going up. 
people sense that uh, 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 a lot of turmoil and war is brewing. And that's being done by the Lord. And since I mentioned war, let me get this. This is from Yahoo News. Taiwan vows counterstrike against uh, counterattack if Chinese forces enter its territory. So this whole skirmish between Chinese uh, China and Taiwan has not quailed yet. It's still it's still it's still there, right? Which is prophecy again. Wars and rumors of war. Okay. Um. So this is uh, prophecy in full effect. And this is just going to escalate and escalate until we reach a war. You also had uh, the U.S. They're doing war games, I believe, with Ukraine in, in, in a few days. You see, all these countries, they're, they're flexing their military muscle for, for what? One purpose and one purpose only. And that's to ultimately uh, use those weapons and use those military muscles that they keep flexing and actually get down and dirty and fight each other because that's at the end of the day that's what ultimately that's what the most high wants he wants war within the nations right the scriptures speak about gathering the nations in one in one place which is yahweh shabbat yahweh shabbat right which is translated to the lord's judgment <coughs> Je jehoshaphat right and that's what's going down right so I'll leave these articles in the description box. Lord willing, your brothers and sisters were edified. Until the next show, Shalom.